Hello viewers, welcome to Creative School. I am going to create this motion graphics intro animation in PowerPoint. I will show you how I will create this intro animation in 5 parts. And now you are watching the part 5. And it's also the last part. In this tutorial, I will show you how to combine the animation like this. In the previous tutorial, I have shown you how to create this animation. And in the next tutorial, I will show you how to create this flying dots animation in PowerPoint. And this tutorial will be coming very soon. Ok, let's start this tutorial. I have created these 4 slides in the previous 4 tutorials. Before starting this tutorial, let's see what we have created in the previous 4 parts. In the part 1, we have created this animation. In the part 2, we have created this animation. In the part 3, we have created this animation. And in the part 4, we have created this animation. And now I will combine the all of the animations of these 4 slides. At first, we have to take another new slides and change its background color. I am choosing this color. And the color code is 003B3A. Then go into the second slide and press Ctrl plus A to select all the elements of this slide. And press again Ctrl plus C to copy them. Then go back into the new slide and paste them by pressing Ctrl plus V. After doing this, go into the third slide and copy all of the elements and paste them into the new slides. Let's play the animation. We can see the shapes of the third slide are over the shapes of second slides. It's a problem. We need to fix it. So press Ctrl plus Z to go back and press again Ctrl plus V to paste them again. Then drag this corner point by pressing Ctrl plus Shift key. Let's play the animation. Still, the shapes are showing over the shapes of the second slides. When the animation is playing. Now we need to select these two shapes and reduce their size. Now it's perfect. Drag this yellow point a little bit here. We can see here, all of these animations are playing at a time. We need to increase the duration of delay of the animation of the third slide. So go into the insert and take a shape. Then apply the appear animation to this. This animation will start with previous. Drag it and keep it before the animation of the third slide. Then increase its duration of the delay to 0 0.10 seconds. Select these animations and click on the move earlier. Then click again on the move later. I am doing it to increase the delay of all the selected animations at a time. Are you seeing? Increase the delay of all the selected animations. Now we need to bring all of the elements of the first slide into this slide. So go into the first slide and copy all of the elements by pressing Ctrl plus A and Ctrl plus C. Then come back in the fifth slide and paste here by pressing Ctrl plus V. Let's play the animation. We are seeing that the shapes of the first slide is over the shapes of the second slide from the beginning. We need to appear the shapes of the first slide with a little bit of delay. So press Ctrl plus Z to go back and press again Ctrl plus V to pass them again. Then apply the appear animation on the shape of the first slide. This animation will start with previous. And drag it in above. Now set their delay to 0 second. Now we need to apply the appear animation to this oval shape again by clicking add animation. Select start with previous. Drag it above and keep it here. 
set its delay to 0.25 seconds. Then select this animation and press shift plus int key to select from this animation until the last one. After doing this, simply click on move earlier and move later. Let's play the animation. Reduce the duration of these three animations and set their duration 1.5 seconds. Now it's perfect. Now we need to bring all of the shapes of the fourth slide into this slide. So go into the fourth slide and copy all of the elements by pressing Ctrl plus A and Ctrl plus C. Then come back into the fifth slide and paste here by pressing Ctrl plus V. If we play the animation, we are seeing that the animation of the hollow shape ending very quickly. So we need to play the animation of the hollow shape twice with a little bit delay. So we need to apply the appear animation to this oval shape again by clicking add animation. Select a start with previous. Set its delay to 0.75 seconds. Then press Ctrl plus V to paste the hollow shape again. Drag them exactly over the previous hollow shape. After doing this, simply click on move earlier and move later. Now it's playing twice. Now we need to delete the hollow shape of the center of the slide. So change the background color and select only these hollow shapes by hold down the control key. Then delete the selected shapes. After doing this, return to the previous background color and play the animation. We have finally finished creating this animation. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You will get the download link of this template in the description box. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to create this flying dots animation in PowerPoint. Subscribe our channel to get our latest video first. Thanks for watching.